to all of you from this Brazilian city of Belo Horizonte. This is the Mineral, the home of two proud footballing institutions, Cruzeiro and Atletico Mineiro. The teams then, Monaco against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. For me, it's a, it's a real thrill to be here. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. We can have a look at them now. best equipped for this game well in these days of inverted wingers Ferran Torres may be a bit of an oddity Peter but a very valuable one in that he gives you a lot more options he's at his most comfortable going forward but he does come in using his strength in, in one-on-ones and that change of direction he can deliver too yeah I'm inclined to agree Zakaria move that good inroads into enemy territory but no joy and Sagir Golovin cuts it out Rafinha Lewandowski looks like a good ball through there really wasn't very much in that far away from being a telling final ball. Well, the idea was crafty, but the weight of the pass was just a little light. Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Now it's Lewandowski. Torres with the shot! Golovin, now it's a bolo. Zakaria. Salisu. Kira. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Played out to the wing. That intervention was very necessary. Taken short, hit into the middle. He's there to get rid. Wolf loose. Who's getting there? The assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Yeah, as long as one voice is making the call to step up, they got it right. Martinez. It's Empolo. Vanderson. Passes it through. And he's cut it out. And it's going to be the final action of the first half. 
interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, 0-0.